hello welcome back uh, to episode 17 so in today's video uh we worked on a number of features and i just want to show you the features we worked on so today is episode 17 and uh if you're just like watching this on youtube you are watching uh, a demo for those ones who are in the pro students um, you will have access to this document uh the uh, the notion document that we are going to be using uh, for uh, for this remaining part of the course where we be producing three episodes uh, per week and that is like Monday, Tuesday and Thursday uh, we're going to be having uh, three episodes per week and today is the uh, first episode on Monday so I will release another one tomorrow and on Thursday for this week and what we did in today's uh, episode 17, we implemented user logs, we added uh, uh, success notifications, we added loading skeletons for all the different uh, page groups, and we also added uh, worked on the student list page. So to show you what we did, I'm just going to go to the first ones are the user logs. So these are very important to trace what each user is doing uh, on the system. So you can see here that we have the user logs uh, of what is happening uh, in the system. You can see Monday Feb, and then we have the logged in person uh, and then he has, for instance, logged in successfully at this time. And then we have the device and we have also the IP address. And this is very important to trace if there is any problem in the system. This is very important to where to start tracing from. So we added this feature for user logs and they come from the database. And every time an operation is done, we go ahead and uh, we register as a, that log. So you can see, for instance, when you log out log in and also for instance on all these operations for instance you can see here activity user created a new student so you can see at this time a student was created and yeah so for all these operations you have in the system they will be actually having the user logs so that is the first thing we did and then we added the success and failure notifications for instance if you just go ahead and maybe log out or log in you will now have these success notifications to those places we had not added them even on the uh, login i'm just going to go ahead and uh, log in so we added on this, you can see uh, login successful and uh, that is really nice. So the third one is loading skin, uh, the loading skeletons. So each uh, of these pages, they have different loading uh, skeletons, like on the home page, the login, and then also the dashboard. They have all these nice loading skeletons that we added. And then lastly, we worked on the student list page, which we spent of course some time. So on the student list page, uh, when you go back to the students here, so we were fetching in the first place, were fetching all the students. If you remember, we had here all the students, and that's what we were fetching in the first place in the previous one, we were fetching the entire school student list. Now that is really not up uh like optimized so instead we generate the list of students you want to see so if you come here and you want to see for s5 you can choose let see for one stream for all streams and if you just want to see that and then we generate for that particular uh for that particular class okay we're not just like getting all the students we're just like only getting for that particular uh class so you can see this is senior five and then we have 5a uh, you can just go ahead and choose maybe senior one and then you are maybe 5b uh, 1b or even all the 
streams so you can see all streams and now if you just come here you see that we have all the students for senior one uh both for one b and one a uh so the which is very nice and we also went ahead and improved the quick view so just going to have the detailed view the quick view and the edit page but if you click on the quick view you see now we have this uh, nice uh quick view of the student okay we also improved on this one to look much better and we're going to have also the detailed page which are going to work on on the next episode so yeah that's what we worked on in today's uh video but it was more of setting up and guiding uh guiding on different things how to contribute so we did a lot of things here uh, uh people who are going to who are on pro they will be able to be added in the uh in the github repo for this and there will be also contribution via uh, also this page will be for contributions and the contributions will be via like you can create um, a component you can ask about a bug or you can uh, ask for features and all that kind of stuff so that's what we did uh, in today's episode we also have a whatsapp group we set for this um you will join the whatsapp group after uh, joining this so other, uh, otherwise if you just want to join the course simply just click in the link in the uh, i will leave the link uh in the video uh, description click on the link and then you will just be able to uh, get into the course and then we start like getting uh, your ideas in the group so thank you so much let's get started